during our trip to Peru, uh, I have noticed that the ancient Mayas and Incas have valued the sunrise and sunset on solstice or uh, equinox a lot. And the very relationship between the earth and the sun was uh, valued greatly. So their ancient temples were built in such a way that exactly on those special four days in a year, they capture that moment of sunrise or sunset. And uh, that, that's not a coincidence. So as I spoke in my previous video, uh, there was a deeper meaning for them honoring these special days. And today uh, being the day of the equinox, we'll just look before we start with the actual spiritual practice that I wanted to share with you for today. Uh, I would like us to look into these four stages that the uh, two solstice and two equinoxes actually uh, uh, represent the st stages of life. Uh, so we all know that uh, spring, summer, autumn and winter have their distinguished char characteristics. Uh, but in ancient India, Mohanji always speaks about the ashramas, the four stages. Um, uh, so spring would be like brahmacharya, when we are born and we express ourselves in the world and uh, we um, uh, then move on to the next uh, uh, stage, uh, which is um, grihasta, when uh, we become more serious, we become the householders <laughs> and um, uh, we experience more responsibility, creative expression, uh, so forth. Uh, and we experiment more. We uh, learn about ourselves from different uh, uh, perspectives um, and take more responsibility. Then we have the autumn of life when we integrate all that we have learned. So right now, uh, 22nd of September is the day when we are entering into that um, uh, stage, uh, into autumn of this very year. But uh, we are also encouraged to contemplate more on how do we integrate the knowledge we have gained so far. Um, so in India, that would be called Vanaprastha. And then the winter would be called Sanyasa. This is the time when uh, traditionally people used to go um, into the forest, renounce everything they have accumulated um, over their life and simply 100% uh, dedicate to realization of divine and this dissolution in, the, in that consciousness. Dissolution is a stage even after enlightenment. Right, so uh, in ancient India we have these four stages, ashramas. Uh, in other uh, cultures we, we also had the symbolism of the equinox and su summer and winter solstice as a special days uh, when we get to actually experience that crossing point. So today, being the equinox, we get to experience the exact balance of 12 hours of the night and day. And the equinox is also a day when we get to align with that inner balance between masculine and feminine. Uh, this, in order for us to reach Shiva or the consciousness, we have to go through Shakti. And um, it's a very profound and deep uh, process if we can actually uh, invite beyond space and time this ultimate experience of Shiva and Shakti merging on, our, on the top of the head, on the crown. Uh, so I will share with you today a um, very special mantra that was given to me by a saint, beloved saint Devi Yama, uh, who um, has been able to read from the Akash, from the cosmic library since she was a child and uh, is a very, very special saint, very dear to Mohanji and I. And um, even though this is quite private, <laughs> I have felt the pull today on this day to share this mantra with you. It's a very simple mantra, but it should be done with reverence, with the correct feeling within. Um, so as I said, you feel uh, you are bowing down to that most sacred moment of Shiva and Shakti merging within you on the on top of the head. So before we start with the mantra, which is Om Shiva Shakti and Namaha. Um, so with Namaha, we bow down to that sacred moment of merging of Shiva and Shakti within, and we feel the crown. 
uh, when we chant, as we always, we chant from the belly and we keep the spine straight. Okay, so the voice should come from the belly, uh, preferably with abdominal breathing. So inhale, blow the belly, and then chant. Om Shiva Shakti Namaha. And before we do that, we will uh, do a bit of uh, breathing to align. Um, and we can also um, simply just honor all the uh, ancient uh, masters and uh, great beings from different civilizations on planet Earth who have honored this special day. Um, I, was, I recently saw a video from Dr. Sam Osmanovic sent it to me about the recent discoveries at the Bosnian pyramids, uh, which were built more than 30,000 years ago but definitely beings of higher consciousness. So it's yet to be established how this happened, but it's very, very profound uh, how they were built. Uh, and they have realized that exactly on the day uh, of uh, summer solstice, uh, the uh, pyramid of the sun creates the shade, which is just like a mirror image on the pyramid of the moon. So the way they have positioned the different pyramids within that pyramid complex, again celebrates that special moment of the solstice or equinox. So um, this is one of the details I remembered from the video. There are a couple of other uh, coincidences, which are obviously not coincidences. They were intentionally made when they were building the pyramids. They built them, keeping those four important dates in mind. And uh, it's very, very profound. Uh, and it's time for us to honor these four special days and really dedicate a bit more time on these days for our spiritual practice. Okay, so what we will do is uh, we will first do Murcha Pranayama. There is a very profound activation that happens in the frontal lobe when we um, tilt the head back. At the same time, roll the eyes up as much as we can, looking towards the middle of the forehead. So when you do these two activities at the same time, eyes up and tilt the head back, uh, there is a little switch that kind of switches on. So this is the feeling you get. Uh, third element in this process is placing the tip of the tongue onto the palate. So palate, right? So when you inhale, head goes back, eyes roll up and tongue goes up. And when you exhale, you exhale in a specific way. You put your lips around the front two teeth and blow between the space between the teeth. Okay, and bring the head in the, into the initial position, not down. So we'll do this together. After that, we will do the famous Nadi Shodan Pranayama or alternate nostril breathing, which is ideal for us uh, for the left and right hemisphere balance. Uh, so we'll bring the forefinger, middle finger down. With the thumb, we'll close the right nostril. We'll inhale from, through the left. With the ring finger, we close the left nostril, exhale through the right and then continue. Uh, inhale through the same, exhale through the opposite. So just remember to exhale always through the opposite nostril and inhale through the same. And exhale is two times longer than inhale. Okay, this is how Mohanji recommends it. So this is how we are doing it. <laughs> okay, so we'll start keeping the spine straight. Uh, the mantra chanting will be only 21 time times, uh, which is what Deviyama recommended to me as the minimum. So 21 kind of closes the circle. Okay. We'll start now. Uh, first, uh, we'll keep the spine straight, be comfortable. Breathe and connect with your breath. Consciously relax shoulders, neck, facial muscles. And let us do the Murcha Pranayama together. Okay, inhale, head back, eyes up, tongue up. And when you exhale, bring the head down, tongue goes down. You close the eyes and blow between the teeth. And start.
and relax. Notice the immediate change you can feel. Activation of energy in the frontal lobe. Life is much more than survival, as our limbic brain would want us to think. We can raise above, rise above the fear and our perceived limitations through the frontal lobe. This is the doorway to our higher dimensions, the experience of the higher dimensions and ourselves within those dimensions. Just feel your forehead and top of the head. Place your thumb on your right nostril, forefinger, middle finger down, and start. Inhale through the left. Exhale to the right. Inhale through the right. Exhale through the left. Final round. And relax. Feel your central axis and top of the head. More than visualizing, you'll feel the merging of masculine and feminine Shiva and Shakti on top of the head. As if it already happened to another dimension. And from the heart, we bow down to that sacred moment in time. We'll do this 21 times. Keep your attention on top of the head. Inhale from the belly. Om Shiva Shakti Namaha Shiva Shakti Namaha Om Shiva Shakti Namaha Om Shiva Shakti Namaha Om Shiva Shakti Namaha Om 
ಶಿವಶಕ್ತಿಯೇ ನಮಃ 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 with the vertical alignment. Stay in the sacred space of Shiva Shakti balance. And today on the day of the equinox we honor Mother Earth. our special home and we honor the highest potential in us to rise above duality above survival into our highest potential Just feel yourself as light as energy. And with a lot of love in our hearts, let us honor the chance we have been given as souls in the body, right here, right now, to go through this experiential journey in physical reality and there to express our highest power and highest potential. a 
and slowly we'll bring our palms together in front of the heart and wrap the palms to make them warm. Place the palms on your eyes, relax your eye muscles. And slowly we remove the palms and open the eyes. Thank you for sharing this short but sweet chanting and meditation experience with me. I invite you to join me on Saturday for the light beyond where we go much, much deeper into exploring our ability to co-create a new reality, our ability to rise above the fear and actually live from love, actually co-create this reality the best possible way.